if you see this Wi-Fi network, you want to run away as far as you possibly can. And yesterday, we were learning about Wi-Fi hacking. And if you watch till the end, I'll teach you how you can secure your own Wi-Fi network by setting a particular configuration so that it makes it significantly harder for hackers to break in. So there are four things we're going through today. So number one is to be able to set it into monitoring mode. So monitoring mode is incredibly important for us to be able to capture all of the Wi-Fi packets in the environment so that we can begin the process of possibly capturing the handshake that takes place so that we can begin the cracking process of it. Number two is to be able to list down or right, list all of the Wi-Fi in the vicinity. So once we have all the Wi-Fi's, we can target a specific Wi-Fi or if you want to, you can target all of the Wi-Fi's to begin the cracking process of it. Number three, all right, you want to now specify which one you want to capture for the WPA or authentication handshake, okay? So this is the part where we want to target a specific Wi-Fi so that we can begin the process of capturing. And likewise, we can even optionally choose to run a de-authentication attack so that we can disconnect them and capture those possible pre-shared keys. And finally, the most exciting part of all is to now begin the process of cracking all right, the pre-shared key that we have here. Okay, so this will be the other option for us, the final option, the most exciting part of all, so that we can begin the process of discovering the password that are used to gain access into the Wi-Fi network. Now you may be wondering if I'm a doctor because of my handwriting. I am not a doctor. I am a hacker. An ethical hacker, of course. Now, before we get started, remember, hacking is illegal. If you want to do this Wi-Fi hacking technique on your neighbors, on some people that you have no idea where they come from, against certain Wi-Fi networks, please do not not do them because that will get you into trouble. If you get into trouble, please do not tell them that you know who is Hacker Loy. And remember, smash the like button and turn on notification for a subscription so that your Wi-Fi do not get hacked. So here in front of us, we're on Call Linux, and at the same time, I'm connected to a separate Wi-Fi auditing platform, which is called Pineapple. So this gives us the ability to launch those Wi-Fi attacks. And by the way, you can do it in whichever device you want to, as long as you have the right Wi-Fi adapter. So what we can do now is go ahead and issue something called M1-NG. All right, so this help us monitor what is going on. So you can hit M1-NG and you can see the following, right? So it's all this are your interfaces that you have. And you can see right here, we have one following, right? WLAN1MON. So this is already a particular area for me to be able to begin the monitoring process of it. So you can see it right here. So what we can do next is to enter, say for example, mon-ng followed by start, and then you can target. So in this case, wlan1mon, hit enter on that. You can see the following results coming from it. So here it states the following, Mac is 02111 monitor mode already enabled. Okay, so you can see the following over here, right? So this means that we are already on monitoring mode. So we're able to capture all the packets within the vicinity, within the environment. And you can do so, you can verify by entering say IW config and then you can hit enter on this okay and you can see right here we have the following which is wlan one mon and it is on monitor mode the next thing you want to do is to use arrow dump to help us list down all of those wi-fi's within the area so you can enter say for example arrow dump all right followed by wlan one mon hit enter on this and right now we are able to look at all the wi-fi's within the vicinity that we can target so in this case what we are going to target is the following, all right, Loy Wi-Fi Pineapple. So that will be the network that we are targeting right here, okay? So this is going to be the point for us to launch the attack against the system. This will be our target Wi-Fi. Once you have this right here, what you want to do is go ahead from the BSSID all the way to Loy Wi-Fi Pineapple. You want to copy the selection and you can go ahead and open up another terminal. And what you want to do is say, go ahead and open up your favorite editor. All right, and you can enter say mouse pad. And what I want to do is paste it right here first so that we are able to keep track of it and use some of this data later on as part of the attack. So using the data that we have earlier, what we want to do now is likewise to use arrow dump to help us launch the same attack. So you can notice here we have channel 11 and we have the BSS ID that we'll be using as part of launching the attack. So all you got to do now is go ahead and enter say once again, all right, arrow dump. And what you want to do now is to specify dash C, all right, which is the channel 11. And what you want to do next is dash dash BSS ID. And now what you want to do is go back to mouse pad and copy the BSS ID that you have captured earlier. Go ahead and copy that. Paste 
right seat right here, paste the selection, and to dash W followed by PSK. All right, so then what we will target is WLAN 1 mod. Go ahead and hit enter on this. All right, so you can see right here, we are monitoring, we are capturing, and we're waiting for an authentication to happen. And when that authentication happens, this will be the part where we'll be able to recognize the attack and be able to gain access to the WBA handshake. So as you can see here, we have the following. So this meant that there is a success here. You can see the following, WPA handshake, all right? So you can go ahead and do a control C to quit it. And you can see WPA handshake here. It means that we managed to capture the WPA handshake and we can begin the next step of the cracking process. And when you enter LS, you can see the following. PSK-01.CAP. This is the file that we're targeting as part of cracking. Now, what we're going to do is to copy this file into our Kali Linux machine so that we can run the cracking process using a commonly used workplace attack against it. So what you can do now is go ahead and open up a new terminal and we can zoom a little more so it's easier for you to see. And what we want to do now is go ahead and issue SCP. All right, so SCP help us do a secure copy all right, using secure shell. And what you can do is again, root at, and of course here we have the IP address of 172 all right so this is the ip address of the target machine that we're going after and of course if i go back to the earlier part of this i can enter if config and we can see the ip address that we have for our machine so this is the one that we're targeting 172.16.42.1 so go back to the other terminal all right and then we can go back over here and then we can paste it right here Okay, paste the selection. And what you want to do now is to specify the directory or the file that you want to copy. All right, so if I go back to the earlier part of it, you can see right here, okay, we can go ahead and enter print working directory. So we are in slash root. Okay, so I can enter slash root psk-01.cap. So going back to the terminal, we can enter the following. All right, so here we can go back and enter slash root, all right, followed by the psk01.cap and then where do we want to put it we can put dot slash for this hit enter on that and all you got to do right now is to go ahead and authenticate yourself as the user and then after which you will be able to copy the file into current working directory so you can see right here we managed to copy the file which is 334 kilobyte so another pro tip here is whenever you're looking out for a specific file, you can enter locate and then you can specify, say, for example, rockyou.txt. And this will show you exactly where is this file located. And what you want to do is you can go ahead and use gzip. All right, followed by dash D on this. Okay, so you can enter gzip dash D followed by the file that you want to specify, which is the word list rockyou.txt. And of course, you can use super user do enter the password for hackerloy, hit enter on that. And this will begin a process of unzipping the file for us. Okay, and finally, the most exciting part of all is to go ahead and use add crack. And here, what we can do is specify dash W, all right, USR, share, word list, rockq.txt. And now what we want to do is enter dash B. And remember the SSID that we have earlier. So you can go back into the mousepad file that you have created or your favorite editor. Do a right-click copy on this. Paste it right here, paste the selection. And what you want to do next is to go ahead and target the existing file that you have over here. So you have PSK. All right, psk01.cap, go ahead and hit enter in three, two, one. That's it. Wow, this is really fast. You can see right here, key found, and the password is 1234-5678. Impressive. So you found Hacker Lloyd's Wi-Fi password. What do you think will happen to you when you join his Wi-Fi network? So we have good news and bad news when it comes to Wi-Fi attacks. The good news, of course, is that Wi-Fi attack, if the Wi-Fi network is using a simple password, we can break it in really quickly. However, the bad news is that it means that if you use something like a really complex password, it can become extremely difficult for the hackers to break in. So if you're the bad guy and you try to break into a Wi-Fi network that has like 20 characters, 30 characters, 100 characters as a password using multiple different type of characters, symbols, numbers, upper lower cases, then chances are it can be particularly difficult for you to break into the Wi-Fi network using a brute force attack, trying out different permutation of the password. And what do you do if you can't break in? Try harder.